Well, the whole idea of Birmingham setting up a Shakespeare Institute in Stratford was always that it should serve as a kind of ideas lab and database for the theatre. It was set up in 1951 as a result of conversations between Barry Jackson, who was one of the pioneers of modern dress Shakespeare in the early 20th century. It's wonderful. It's clearly an incredibly rich collection, uh, in depth, wonderfully curated. I mean, there's an extraordinary reservoir of knowledge uh, there and just an extraordinary density of artifacts with an incredible aura to them. Uh, it feels that, you know, like a very magical place, the way theatre archives do. I absolutely loved it. I would love to see a performance on that stage out, out at the front, but I quite like to be in one. Uh, and I would love to spend several months going through that collection. It's a beautiful exhibition and I was incredibly honoured and flattered to be asked to write a little preface for the catalogue. Um, Japan has such a rich relationship with Shakespeare, and such a multifaceted one, uh, and as a Shakespearean scholar and as somebody interested in performance, I've seen lots of Japanese productions on tour and I've read lots about them, but to actually be in the room with visual images of the Kabuki Merchant of Venice, which I've so often mentioned in lectures, uh, you know, Cherry Blossom Time or Money Makes the World Go Round, as its title, title became, and to see the actor's actual hand calligraphied script uh, is extraordinary. Oh, well, as energetically as possible and across as many media as possible. The Institute has had very good students from Waseda in the past and we hope to see many more in the future, taking our master's courses, staying on for the PhD. But we hope to co-arrange conferences together, to co-arrange faculty exchanges together. Uh, I'm particularly interested in developing a whole course as part of uh, the Shakespeare and Theatre MA about Asian Shakespeare in which obviously Waseda would be a, you know, a marvellous participant. If we can set it up as an online course so that students can participate from both institutions at once uh, using um, perhaps the Asian Shakespeare Intercultural Archive which is a facility whereby you can you know, look at video records of productions online and you know, our students could compare notes about them. I think that would be fabulous. Uh, you know, we're institutions with very similar strengths in Shakespeare studies and it would be great to just spend more time just sort of being in the room with each other and sharing our insights. Yes. I think we should pool our resources on this, um, possibly develop some collaborative publications. Um, sadly, now that Ninagawa's career has reached its full stop, uh, one can look at it overall. I mean, perhaps a, a shared project describing Ninagawa's career and investigating his legacy uh, would be a very worthwhile thing to do. Um, I have a great doctoral student in Tokyo at this very moment researching Japanese Shakespeare who could certainly be one contributor, perhaps even leader in it. Theatre is by its nature an art form at odds with the everyday sequential progression of time. In the Playhouse, we experience in the immediate present a show which is actually a repetition of something assembled in a rehearsal period in the recent past. Shakespeare's Rome, wherever it is restaged, seems in any case deliberately to puzzle or at very least complicate our sense of history. I was impressed by the material that was on display and the way it was displayed. I think there's some very beautiful objects. Um, the, um, the old newsreel footage of performances, including that first that performance at Waseda in 1947, I think it was, which is fascinating, not just as a document in itself of what was being done, but also as a cultural event to see, particularly at that point in history. Um, and it's the feeling that you're looking at, I've been to a lot of theatre museums, as many people have, but to go to one that has that concentration of information and visual display um, is very impressive within, within a smallish, a small space, it's not a very big space. Um, and to get a sense too of the, the commitment of the founder, yes. that's so Super important. Yeah. And I do think that what we've been doing in this collaboration and in this conference has been in that spirit too. Yes. I think that the, the collaboration is very valuable. It's the first one of its kind on this scale that I know of for the Shakespeare Institute in particular. 
because although I was in the drama department for the past 12 years, I have a long history with the Shakespeare Institute, and we have many students from Japan and very specifically from, from Tokyo and around here that have come, and Waseda have come to the Institute. Um, but I think it's also the kind of collaboration that um, in a way feeds new ideas and it's also a way of developing new kinds of work, collaborative work between the universities. Now that's not something I'm an expert on because it's not something that I'm directly involved in. I benefit from it as I do for this conference.